around 742 AD, Charlemagne was born into royalty to his parents Pepin the Short and Bertheda of Leon, near Liege, in modern-day Belgium. Considering Charles' father Pepin was the wise, moral king of the Franks, Charles was never given much of an academic education, but instead, he and his brother Carloman spent their childhood being taught by their father the proper way to rule the Frankish kingdom. Eventually, Charlemagne and his brother were very well educated and ready to rule their father's land. But one question remained, who would rule if there were two sons? The question was answered on September 24, 768 AD, in Pepin's final moments of life, where he evenly divided his kingdom's land among his two sons, and left Charlemagne with rulership of all the land to the west of the Danube River, and Carloman in charge of parts of Germany, France, and Switzerland. Only three years into the joint rulership in 771, Carloman unexpectedly died, leaving Charles with full rulership of the Frankish kingdom. Most of Charlemagne's reign was spent commanding military campaigns. Charles the Great conquered many tribes, such as the Saxons, Avars, and Tatar tribe on the Danube. But one of Charlemagne's many important victories came against the Lombards in 774 in Pavia, Italy. During this campaign, Charlemagne and his men had to trek for one year through the Alps before he finally found his opponent. It's been a long journey. I wonder how much farther we have until we reach the Lombards. Sir, sir, there are horses approaching from the east. It's the Lombardians. Kill them. defeated the pagan Saxons once and for all for the good of Christianity. Yeah! One snowy, cold winter Sunday in Rome in 800 CE, Pope Leo III was standing in the great church of St. Peter's Rome and Charles entered the church. Charles saw a man by the name of Pope Leo the Great that stood before him. In this moment, Pope Leo had crowned Charles to be the next emperor of the Roman Empire. Ever since this Christmas day in St. Peter's Rome, Charles had been known as Charlemagne or Charles the Great. We have been waiting for you, Charles. For me, Pope Leo? Yes, come up here. My well, Charles. I will be crowning you to the Roman Empire. You are a great friend of mine. I can always trust to help the soldiers. Since my recent injuries, I've not been fit enough to take on the circumstances of being a good emperor. 
I will be happy to put this crown on your head. Do you accept my invitation? Yes, that would be a great honor that I accept. Put your right hand in the air and repeat after me. I solemnly swear. I solemnly swear to protect this empire. To protect this empire and train our soldiers. And train our soldiers and care for the people. And care for the people. I now dub thee Charlemagne. Charlemagne ruled for fourteen years, and throughout his rule, he made a great empire. until his tragic death in 814 CE. Father, well, we come with us now that you are found Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, exactly. okay. well, well, you guys Charlemagne was a great leader. He had a great lasting legacy. First, he established a central government so he could know what was going on in his empire. Charlemagne was very interested and education, so he started to bring education into the Dark Ages. He had sympathy for the peasants, so he also, he also helped them receive education. Charlemagne made Western Europe safe from barbarian attacks. He divided Europe into countries. Each country had a head chief called the Count. To check on those countries, he would send personal his personal investigators, Missy Dominici, to make sure that the counts were not abusing the people. He built a palace and a cathedral in Aachen, Germany, his favorite place, where he kept valuables and will later be buried. The Carlingian minuscule scripts are lowercase letters that we use today. The song Roland took place in Charlemagne's worst defeat. It was an early chanson de guest that is a work that revolves around Charlemagne and legends who influenced the French and European literature. The Carolingian Empire inspired the 10th century ruler Otto the Great. Charlemagne got a very bad fever and became sick. His doctors advised him to stop eating roasted meat, meat which was his favorite, and stick to boiled meat to help him live longer. In eight. 13, he gave all his land and power to his son, Louis. Almost a le year later, he died. Charlemagne was in good health until his last four years of his life, when he got a fever. Later in Aachen, Germany, where he built a monument to store valuables, he was buried. Before he died, his empire took over much of Western Europe. He was a good man and loved his children, empire, and always looked out for others. Ha ha ha.